Moving on with my series of Lego minifigure habitats from the CMF series 25. Today we have the RP and the Fierce Barbarian. Let's start from this one and let's see if I can put together some uh, cool habitat. So here is the base. For this one, I want to do something similar to what you probably already saw with my Orc habitat from series 24. So some sort of a barbarian walking out of the village. We can start, I think, by adding the barbarian already. And I think we're going to turn the face to the more uh, angry, but, but already one. So it's going to be something like this, walking out of this village. We are going to add a few details at the front. Let's start from the details this time. We are going to have a trunk tree over there. And we are going to have a mushroom over on this side. Uh, at the deck side, I'm going to have some sort of village wall. So for this one, I start to create some sort of masonry kind of effect with dark gray at the back and light bluish gray at the front. I'm using these lobes on the side to make it look like it's actually turning around the corner over here. And here, I'm just using some simple snot technique. I put some different kind of tiles. Some are pushed in, some are pushed out. I even have a broken tile over here uh, to make it look interesting. And then I just added one line, one tile over here in 10 to make it a little bit interesting and break up a little bit the color um, the color pattern a little bit so you can see this call up to this one uh, i think is a pretty interesting wall with a lot of details and a bit of olive green uh, leaves climbing up as well over on this side we're gonna do uh, make a sort of entryway to this village and instead of doing a wooden one i decided to go with a sort of rocky structure so this is what i created I'm using different kind of slopes on every size, a little bit of snot techniques, and I have an arch piece on top here. I added three plates at the bottom to make it a little bit more interesting. And you can see here we can clip something with those uh, modified uh, plate over there. So this we just need to slide one tile so that we have the typical structure of the habitat. You can see we drop one of the tile. We can push it back here, here at the top. And you can see that on top, I also have a few studs eh, because that would be, of course, the space to then connect more habitats on top in the stack. So this actually align with that one. So what I decided to add over there is one shield. Uh, this, I think, come from the Viking minifigure for which I already created an habitat. And over here, I'm going to add a couple of torches. I created those with some Harry Potter wands, a couple of uh, round uh, bricks with the hole in the middle. Let's try to align the flame to going in the same direction. Give them an angle. And this is the habitat for the Fierce Barbarian. Pretty interesting minifigure. This world piece is really, really good. But now I have a, a little announcement before we move to the RP. Let's shift this to the side. Uh, I would like to announce that finally, after almost three years and I think over 400 views, uh, sorry, 400 videos, finally, a Brick Dreamer channel is monetized. First stage of monetization, so we're not going to make any money, even though here I stake here a lot. Uh, just, just to tell you that probably in the next uh, few weeks, uh, you will see appear the super thanks at the bottom of the video. I might start with the first stage of membership, and I'm working on some exclusive content for a second stage of membership. Uh, not to make much money, of course, but just to uh, support the hobby and support the production of the video. So if you see those in the next few weeks, feel free to contribute in the production of my videos. Uh, but of course, don't worry. You can still watch all my videos for free. Um, if you want to support, I would appreciate a comment, a like, or subscribe if you haven't already. So after this little bit of news, let's move on to the RP. RP I'm not sure exactly how to pronounce this was a very difficult habitat to tackle. I didn't know what to do. So one idea could have been to have this one maybe have a sort of fight with Hercules, uh, consider that this is a sort of mythologi uh, 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 mythological figure, a uh, sort of uh, Greek-Roman mythology. So I decided to go in that route and create a micro-scale uh, city, Greek or Roman kind of structure, with the RP flying over. So here we have the bottom, and here we're going to add all the small uh, buildings of this city. Some of those I've built in uh, 10. Uh, I added also a little bit of a tree over here at the front. 
I have some white structure on the background. So, sorry, a little bit of a tan at the front and white at the back. I'm using the, this interesting, I don't know if it's a Minecraft uh, uh, piece of, of sort, uh, but I thought it's a very good piece to add over here in the center. I'm gonna add another one here on an angle. This one is gonna be a sort of towery thing in the background. I added a roller skate for the roof there to give a little bit of decoration. I'm gonna add a sort of a bridge eh, or aqueduct uh, for the water. This is how the Roman used to get the waters to the city. And a, I would say obelisk, big towery thing with a uh, statue on top. And this is the most of the structure at the bottom. So what I decided to do uh, on the side is create a sky. Here we have another most another one structure that is coming off from the side. So this is gonna connect over here. You can see this is gonna sit diagonally there. So it's a pretty interesting micro scale build. I'm gonna build up the, the side over here like so, same color. And you can see I'm using some clouds coming off in 3D from the uh, from the wall here. This is the first time that I try to do something like this. And one of these bigger kind of clouds, instead of using like them like I did in other habitats, I decided to put it on top because it still provides me then the uh, stats to connect an habitat on top. And still I have this 3D effect of the cloud. And I did the same thing on the other side. And you can see here, uh, on a technique piece over here. I have the top of this other building so that we have a little bit of a more interesting shape uh, for this bigger building in the background and a bigger uh, 3D cloud over there. One more of this on top. I just need to close this like so. And then I can connect the RP to the uh, minifigure stands, those uh, angle studs in TransClear to have the RP flying over this micro scale Greek Roman city. Uh, so this is the final result of the two habitats and how they look together. Uh, before I let you go, I can show you what's the stack at the moment. So with almost all the minifigures habitat done, as you can see in the on screen, two minifigure habitat left. I have something special in mind for these last two that you can see at the bottom and hopefully it will work out and I will close the series with something very cool. Uh, please remember to leave a like, leave a comment and subscribe and I will see you on the next video. Ciao, ciao.